Hello everyone, welcome to TS Info YouTube channel. This is Chandrika from TS Info Technologies. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to get current date in SharePoint Online List Calculated column by using today function and now function. So now let's implement it. Open your SharePoint site with your Microsoft credentials. Open any one of your list. Here I was taking users details list. This list has username and user full name. Username, this is the title column. I have renamed it to username. Before creating calculated column, let's create a today column by using date and time. Data type. Click on add column. Select date and time and click on next. On create column pane, provide the name as today. In the default section, select today's date and click on save. The today column has been created in the users details list. Now let's create the calculated column. Click on add column and select see all column types. Click on next. In create column pane, provide the column name for the calculated column. I was giving here current date and select data type as calculated. In the formula box of additional column settings, give the formula for the calculated column is equals to and select the date and time column which we have created previously from the insert column box today and click on add to formula. Now select the data type written from this formula as date and time and click on OK. Now the current date column has been created in the users details list. But in the current date column, it is not showing the value of today's date. This is because it will display the current date only when the item is edited. Otherwise, it will display the date on which the items was last updated. To display the current date here in the current date column, we have to edit the items of user details list. Before editing items, delete today column what we have created previously. Otherwise, today's date is not updated in the current date. So now we will see it. To edit the items, click on edit in grid view. Now I was editing the second item, Robert Matthew Hill. Exit grid view. Now we can see the current date has been not updated. So now let's delete this today column. Click on the column header, select column settings, click on edit and delete today column. Now the today column has been deleted. Now edit the other SharePoint list item, click on edit. In the username I was giving John Hill Robert, click on save. Now we can see in the current date column, it has been updated to today's date. This is how to get current date in SharePoint calculated column by using today function. Now we will see how to get the current date in SharePoint calculated column by using now function. Click on add column and select see all column types. Click on next. In create column page, I was providing the column name as date and select data type as calculated. In the formula box of additional column settings, Give the formula like is equals to now open and close the bracket and select data type written from this formula as date and time and click on OK. Now we can see the date column has been created in user details list displaying the current date by using now function. This is how to get current date in SharePoint calculated column by using now function. For more free videos on SharePoint online, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.